Hello chess friends and welcome to Zaro's chess channel and welcome to my basics in chess series. So in this series we follow opening principles, middle game strategies and the end game strategies. Today we're continuing with the uh, with the end game strategy. Today we continue with the so-called Lucina maneuver. The Lucina maneuver is a very important maneuver that you should apply uh, while, while playing a rook and pawn versus a rook end game. So this rook and pawn uh, should be uh, winning against your opponent's rook but it has to be prepared of course it has to be uh, very well played and you should be familiar with this so pattern and it's, it's this uh, Lucina maneuver in order to win the game so is this here is the position that I've already set up for you uh, we have uh, an advanced pawn on the seventh rank and uh, the problem is uh, the king has to participate um, in the attack here in order to uh, pr um, create this promotion on g8 but uh, the more important thing is is to realize your opponent's possibilities to play and uh, that's why we should first always in these types of positions restrict your opponent's king's ability to play so the best move uh, here uh, in this position is play to play rook on e1 and then uh, your opponent has to retreat here um, maybe he has to play something like a king on d7 and now comes this uh, very important uh, move it's really a really pattern which is appliable in all of this in all of the setups when you have this advanced pawn and when you have restricted your opponent's king's ability to play there is maybe an inaccuracy that you can make to play immediately king on f7 here and try to promote Although this position is still winning for, for white, uh, still there are uh, some perpetual check possibilities for, for black and uh, basically when you play maybe a blitz game you could run out of time because you haven't played this pattern that I'm going to show you. So here in the continuation you see your opponent could uh, just continue to check you and uh, really uh, this position could be a draw. In order to prevent this scenario you should really play this very very important move and you should really memorize it like this moving the rook to the fourth rank now uh, it seems like a strange move but this is now really pattern and the problem is uh, for black's perspective that when we make this perpetual checks on the g file and the f file and then after that maybe on the h file our con our king can really try to uh, go to the fifth rank and then for from the fourth rank here the rook will cover uh, a potential check and then we could really try the promotion here uh, in the end of the in the end of the game so um, here let's see now a possible continuation here for for black uh, here black can try something like king on d6 trying to stay close uh, to the position and now we go finally with our king you see because we have moved our rook now uh, on the fourth rank now this perpetual check scenario doesn't work anymore for black because we can try now king on g5 you see you cannot go on um uh, on f8 going uh, in front of the spawn so that's why in in the next move here after k rook on g2 we can simply go rook on g4 and this will be game over so you see how important it was to first cut off uh, this uh, king's ability to play now the f uh, king is too far away from uh, from the spawn and now black's basically best move is maybe to play rook on a2 but again again you can simply promote and win this end game so let's go back here in this position as i mentioned after king on d7 rook on e4 so uh, always memorize it like this moving to the fourth rank with the rook uh, will win you win you the game immediately so let's see now uh more complex uh, complex line here it's the same position uh, but we have now the pawn on you on the fourth rank and the, again here i'm pointing you out first the the check uh, cutting off this uh, king to play after king on g6 we can simply move forward you see the um, um, d5 here your opponent can check you but again uh, you see we just moving forward again after this checks we just simply move the spawn to the seventh rank and now we have again the lucina position we have now the possibility to play the lucina maneuver here after rook on c3 you see um, uh, black is cutting off now this c file but now again we move the rook uh, move the rook uh, to the fourth rank and if your opponent tries something like uh, 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 king on g5 then we have rook on f8 and we could simply uh, go and in the next move uh, let's see the possible continuation after rook on d3 your opponent can do some perpetual checks but again it's not a problem in the next move we can promote so here in this position after rook on f4 your opponent uh, can try maybe something like rook on d3 immediately but again here uh, the same scenario we have here 
the perpetual check but again we cover on the fourth rank and uh, are not giving um, black the opportunity to prevent you from promotion again the king is too far away we have covered the best here what black can do is simply tra trade it off but in the next move we can promote here to queen and this was game over for for black okay uh, i hope you realize this idea so let's go back here very important stuff fourth rank uh, rook uh, you have to play that in order to have a coverage of your king so this is the so-called lucina maneuver it's probably happened to you in many of your end games it happens to me uh, also so you should be familiar in order to make this uh, maneuver uh, working you should also be familiar with these patterns because uh, then you have you can play this very next move uh, next moves very very quick quickly and when the, when the end game eventually so okay uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and i hope you that you realize this pattern we'll continue with this end game patterns which are really important things i th think to uh, uh, to solve in in chess end games because this stuff happens to us all of the time and this this has to be uh, something that you should know by heart okay uh, meanwhile you can watch my other basics in chess videos with some other opening principles middle game strategies and the end game strategies and you can also watch my chess tactics and chess puzzles videos in which i show you um, the best tactics that can happen to you in a chess game with all of this checkmate patterns also and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thank you for watching guys and chess is the best of course